Hey gamers, happy Monday. Welcome back to another episode of Coffee Talk. I am obsessed with this game to the point where I am recording this probably almost all in one sitting. Um, because I really like this game. This is a problem. <laughs> Let's see. Despite losing a member, Super Smile's latest album sold a million copies. Blogging is now part of curriculum at some private high school. Stop workplace racial profiling. The workish workers union demands. Oh my god. This game tackles a lot of real world issues. <clears throat> yeah, let's start the day. Also, let me say it, just in case I forget to. Okay. Hey, you. Welcome. Yo. Cup of honey milk, please. Right away. Oh, what do I put in the Do I have to just guess? Is that what this is? Like, why can't I? want just all honey though. Is this right? Yeah, that, that sounds about right. Okay. I think that should be it, I hope. Okay, well I got it. Alright. Here you go. Your honey milk is ready. Oh my god, she got in with me. Relax, it's okay. Hey, kitty god. What are you looking for? You want some milk? Hi, barista. Wait, that was actually a- <clears throat> Yes, I'd love some milk. Holy. You look like you've just seen a ghost. No, I mean- Sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. It's been a while since last time I saw a Neko Mimi transforming. We rarely do that in public. I guess if you don't have that many Neko- I'm get- I guess you don't have that many Neko Mimi friends? I won't say I have. You folks usually use your feline form to commute. If I'm not mistaken. That's right. Well, commuting as a cat sounds more practical. in a bipedal form. Kind of. Anyways, before we continue, can I have some of my, mil my milk, please? Ah, I'm sorry. What kind of milk do you want? Just milk. No additional stuff or anything? No, milk and nothing else. Just milk? Okay. milk for the lady with the pretty smile. Thank you. What? Freya, are you- I was just giving her a compliment. Yeah. Thank you for the compliment. Oh, it's really good. You're welcome. <laughs> What's a young girl like you doing alone this late? I'm not a young girl. I'm a grown-up who can take care of herself. Hmm? Er, you don't look like a grown-up. What? I'm 18. Yeah, that's exactly what I'd call it to you. Well, I'm not an old lady like you, for sure. Besides, <clears throat> I've been earning a living since I was 13 years old. So I'm definitely not a kid anymore. How? <laughs> I'm sure you know. Uh, I don't. Oh my, are you? Just say it. 
if this is something illegal, or if you are in danger, blink twice. Really? <clears throat> With a cute face like mine? Exactly. Seriously, you've never seen me on TV or social media. I don't want to sound like a snob, but I don't watch mainstream media. <sighs> snob. Part of the broke but woke movement, I see. <laughs> you must be the broke part. I don't see you ordering any drinks. What, too broke for a cup of coffee? <laughs> <laughs> Rip Freya, oh my god. She's not great for business, no. Oh, really? Something I- sometimes I wonder. Could this coffee shop survive without me? What are you waiting for, Grandma? Make your order. This is some kind of maid cafe experiment or something? So what do you want to order? The usual. <laughs> Will you ever order something different for you? Espresso is ready. Mm, as good as usual. I'm glad you liked it. Wait, wait a minute. You do look familiar. Are you in a pop group? Are you Rachel Florencia? The member of the Super Smiles who just graduated? And started her solo career? Uh-huh. You're not a lost cause after all, Grandma. That brings us back to my first question. What the hell are you doing here? Drinking milk. I'm serious. But you can see it with your own eyes, right? I'm really here to drink milk. How come this coffee shop attracts so many weird people? Well, well we do have a lot of unusual customers. This is the first time we've had a famous celebrity visit. To drink milk, no less. <laughs> Yay, achievement on Wait, she actually gave me an achievement? <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. The timing on that's unreal. <laughs> I don't know if that popped up on the screen, but I just got an achievement. <laughs> that's so funny. No, seriously. Why are you here? <clears throat> well, you know. The usual young folk problems. I had a fight with my father. And so, here I am. Ah, uh, I see. But is it okay for a celebrity like you to be out alone this late? You don't need to worry about me. I could turn into a cat. Now I'm really worried. Anyway, what happened? My dad... We got into an argument. He doesn't like my line of work. He always saw my profession as something negative. But I love what I'm doing. What about your mother? What are her thoughts on your career choice? She passed up. I had a gut feeling and I was so right on spot. Oh my. Mm. Mm -mm. This is like actually so realistic. I, I like the, I don't know. I like the dynamic of this being a coffee shop. I'm just here like as a background character. I actually like this game. This is very funny to me. Not, not the topic, but just. I'm like a background character and everyone's just a protagonist in their story, like stopping for a minute. She passed away a few years ago. I'm sorry to hear that. It's alright. Your dad know anything about the entertainment industry? He used to work in showbiz de decades ago. So yeah, he does know a thing or two. <clears throat> Another customer. Good evening, it's eh? Good evening, girls I've never met before. I just saw you yesterday. <laughs> just kidding, Freya. Anyway, it's eh? Yes, officer? I need something for my sore throat. <clears throat> Can you get a brother a cup of green tea with lemon and honey? Sure thing, officer. Green tea? Wait. Yeah, green tea. I almost got baited by that. Lemon and honey. Sure thing, officer. Ossifer. I say Ossifer because of the meme. No. <laughs> Cough syrup. Sure. You 
your special drink is ready. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do we have here? It's my special cough syrup. What do you call it? Eh, cough syrup. <laughs> of course you do. Let's see whether this drink tastes as good as it smells. Damn. This is great. How's your day going? Anything out of the ordinary on your patrol? <clears throat> yeah. Anything interesting today? Actually, I witnessed something scary on my shift today. Tell me, tell me. You sure you want to hear it? Yes. The scary thing I witnessed was my salary. Seriously? Yeah, today's payday. I checked the ATM during my shift. Such a horrible sight. Other than that, the labor union protests, everything is fine though. How can you say it's fine? We got a young celebrity lurking around by herself. Ain't that strong proof that the area is safe? Hey. Thank you for the drink and the place to sit. I'm going back now. Oh, thank you for coming. Hope you enjoyed your time. Uh-huh. Sat there and read. I'm sure that's pretty normal in a coffee shop. I mean, you always do that here when you're writing. I guess you're right. Anyway, where were we? Oh, yes. What are you doing here, young lady? It's pretty late, you know? I don't have anywhere else to go. This place looks cozy. I see. So you basically wanted to go to a bar. But you're underage, right? As you know. <coughs> you can read minds now, old man. <laughs> I have a daughter around her age. It's easy to translate what they say. Especially when you're having to deal with them every day. I don't know why you're here. But everything's gonna be okay. You can forget all your problems while you're here. Dude, you're a cop. It's not his job to take care of someone else's daughter. He's a cop. That's exactly his job. Relax, Freya. Don't be so uptight. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Policeman here made me feel much safer already. You know it yourself, Freya. This place is very safe. Right, Officer Georgie? <laughs> of course. This is the safest place around here. Hey, that endorsement comes with a discount, right? <clears throat> oh, jeez. What? Don't look at me that way. <clears throat> You're a cop, old man. Act like one. I deal with crimes in public safety. How should I- How should I know how to handle someone else's daughter? You know. You're a father yourself. Oh. Right. <laughs> what is this? Guys. You know I can hear you, right? Really? See, Freya, she has good hearing. That should help her protect herself. Anyway, miss. Rachel? Miss Rachel, what brings you here? As I've told the others, I had a fight with my dad. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Me and my daughter fight every day. <laughs> hey, why would you say that? Because it's true. I fought a lot with my kids. That's normal. In fact, whenever we finish arguing about something, we become closer as a family. Huh? Because when things have calmed down, I learn something about them. <clears throat> and they learn something about me, as well. As long as we don't leave things unresolved, an argument makes things better. But it happens so often. Tonight was just one among countless others. He wasn't like this before. Before it happened. You mean before your solo career? No, before mom passed away. What happens after each fight? Uh, nothing. We just don't talk about it. Until another fight starts. <clears throat> Unresolved problems are dangerous. It ain't easy. But you gotta understand each other better. As much as I hate to admit it. 
Conflict is the best way to know someone. Even your own blood. But it was never this bad when mom was around. She's the only one who understood me. And she also understood your father. Maybe he and your mom also had arguments. But your mom acted as a mediator between the two of you. That's possible. Now that mom's gone, I don't have anyone to act as my guardian. And your dad? He lost his best negotiator. Wait a second. You said this happened a lot. This has happened a lot. But why did you run this time? <clears throat> my daughter never ran away. Wait. Maybe it's because I'm the one who always ran away. <laughs> Using my job as an excuse. I can confirm that. Yeah, I run here a lot. But yeah, I hate to tell you again. Bo you both gotta resolve your issues. Unresolved problems are dangerous. In any relationship. <laughs> I kinda understand what you're going through, Rachel. I also ran away when I was younger. Are you on good terms with your parents now? I am. When and how did it happen? To be honest, I'm not even sure myself. It just happened. <laughs> Maybe I should run even farther. <laughs> I mean, I have my own income. <clears throat> I don't need to rely on my dad. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. Why? I'm an adult. No whatever adult would ever say I'm an adult. Just give yourself some time to think, Miss Rachel. And try to understand your father's perspective. I'm sure that both of you will be able to solve this. Like adults. You don't need to rush a decision. I'm not sure about that. Just take your time. But now... Now I would recommend you just go home. It's really late. I need to go home as well. I can give you a ride. But... You don't need to talk to your father right away. Just go straight to your room. At least knowing you're safe at home will give him some peace. That will allow him to think more clearly about everything. <coughs> you're right. You really are a cop, Georgie. Of course I am. So where do you live, Miss Rachel? In the western part of Necroton. Oh. That's quite far. You're still going to drive me home, right? <laughs> Old man. Of course I will. Should I drive you home too, Miss Freya? No, you don't have to. I'm riding my bike. Are you sure? 100% sure. Okay, well, we'll be off then. <laughs> Thank you, it's Miss Freya. She winked at me? What the? Go home, child. Go home. You think because you're a pop star you get a discount? No. Take care on your way home. See you around, it's a... stay longer if you want. Nah, it's fine. I also have to call it a day. How's the writing, by the way? It's getting there. That's nice to hear. <clears throat> I'm juggling a lot of work, though. Barely made my deadlines. I don't know if I can keep this up. Why don't you just come clean? Tell your boss about the publishing offer. Who knows? Maybe she'll understand. Yeah, right. Great job, Freya. Here, take some money. Go take a vacation and finish your novel. In your dreams. I'm not exactly employee of the month. You never know. You never know, I might end up on the chopping block. <clears throat> oh, the pressure. I'm sure about one thing, though. This coffee shop has a lot of stories to tell. So yeah, I'll probably be back tomorrow. The door is always open for you. <laughs> I bet it is. Okay then, take care. Careful on your way home. Alright guys, that was another episode of Coffee Shop. I don't know. This one's kind of short. But yeah, I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, this game is covering a lot of heavy topics, so I'm probably going to start leaving disclaimers in all the descriptions. Um, but yeah, other than that, take care everyone. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you guys next week in the Coffee Shop. Bye!